We're at the 2016 London Farm Show. I'm in front of the BASF booth at uh, number 116N in the Progress Building. And I want to thank uh, BASF for sponsoring me again. My name is Mo Agostino. I'm a Chief Commodity Strategist with the Farms Commerce Management. And I've been doing a Grain Market Outlook presentation from 1 to 2 uh, on March uh, 2nd, 3rd, and from 10 to 11 on March 4th. So if you haven't had a chance to see me and, and listen to my presentation, please come out on Friday, March 4th, from 10 to 11, and I hope to see you there. But uh, I just wanted to do a quick rundown of my presentation, and uh, our title was the 2016 Grain Market Outlook, Is the Bear Market Over? You know, uh, futures this year have started off on the wrong foot. They've moved lower because of um, bearish fundamentals, too much supply, not enough demand. Demand's just uh, too slow, US dollar, a headwind. But the Ontario farmer actually has had a windfall. It's because of the Canadian dollar. It's really improved basis. Uh, the dollar fell to uh, 68.09 on January 20th after being at above par two years ago. So it's more than offset. It's kind of saved their butt in terms of the overall net price today. If a farmer still had some old crop in the bin, they could sell corn for five bucks, they can sell corn for five bucks next year, and even into 2018. So um, what's the most common question I'm getting? Is the dollar done going down? Is crude all of a sudden bottomed? Maybe. It really depends. We haven't seen the production cut in oil, and with uh, Canadian dollar, it almost looks like the economy's gaining some strength. So your biggest risk going forward, whether it's this year, next year, the next two years, is really that Canadian dollar. If it does go back up to 80, 90 par from the current level of 74, that basis will narrow. You're gonna end up leaving some money on the table. So over the next few months, if you do get a second opportunity where that dollar does fall back to 68 or somewhere in there, maybe it's time to be aggressive on um, uh, booking that basis. We're waiting to see what futures do over the next three, four months. The last eight years has been an opportunity every late spring, summer to perhaps uh, sell futures at a higher price. We'll see what happens this year. Everybody's talking about the La Nina transition from El Nino. It really depends on whether that La Nina transitions very quickly and it affects the US Midwest crop. Some are saying it's not till the autumn, others say 2017. But at the end of the day, uh, you know, if, if you can get corn, for example, to the upper end of the range at 450, four and a quarter, 450 with a, a decent basis of say a dollar, there's your 550 corn. And in fact, um, you know, uh, I've been telling the farmers, look, when you look at returns at $5 corn, 200 bushels an acre, that's a thousand bucks an acre. Why am I growing wheat? Why am I growing beans? You can actually grow corn, make a thousand bucks an acre, pay a lot of bills for the next two, three years. This is Mo Agostino at the London 2016 Farm Show. Thanks for watching.